You look like a cyclist. You, 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 you're about to go on a, a, on like a hundred mile cycle right now. I'm bring, I'm, I'm embodying Spike Lee tonight. Is what it is. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Jamar Rogers in the house. The Voice, Team CeeLo. How is how is working with Team CeeLo? Come on. Well, CeeLo is obviously like an idol of mine, and he's crazy and awesome and wise and keeps in touch with me. He's great. Hopefully, someday we'll do some work together. Nah. Was that a little? Uh, was it that was. a little? A little throwback to the Gnarls Barkley totally. crazy. Totally, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about coming out here and supporting a great cause. Well, you know, I was raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, a lot of tornadoes were touching down there. So I, this is a cause that's very near and dear to my heart. Anything that gives back, and I'm, I'm an advocate of giving back of, of your resources. So it's just really cool that I was even invited here tonight. I'm super stoked. So. Well, we're very happy that you're here today. Um, I'm sure everybody wants to talk a little more about the voice semifinalist. You're a fan favorite. Uh, what what would what song did you choose to audition for the actual show? I did Seven Nation Army. Seven Nation Army. You want to give us a little rendition? Oh, right here. I'm gonna fight them off. Seven Nation Army couldn't hold me back. That's all you get. All right, all right. I'll settle. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll settle for that. So what happens now? Now that you're you're done with the voice, where, where does it go? Are you still in touch with CeeLo? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. I have I have a single that I released earlier this summer called "Where Would I Be Without You" on iTunes. I have a new single coming out next month called "High." I'm gonna talk for a new TV show. What? And uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. People like me. Why, why are you hugging all the jobs here? <laughs> I've only been in LA for three months. A man's got to make a living. Wow, good for you, man. Thank you, brother. That's amazing. So, what's this new show? Can we talk about that? Is um, it still uh, it's, too we're early? Still talking about it. So, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it. But I think it's gonna be good. All right. You're gonna see this face everywhere. And then I did a really cool nationwide campaign uh, for the CDC, and I, I drove by a billboard with my face on it the other day. It was that weird. Totally weird. Right. I did enough of my face. I thought it was kind of strange. <laughs> That's amazing, man. Success is all around you. I always say good things come to those who wait, but more, but more importantly, persistence is a byproduct of success. And hard work. Yeah, that, that's really what it's all about. If you had to choose, would it be more on the music side, on the acting side, TV side? Well, what medium would you uh, choose to express yourself as an artist? Anything that I can use to show people that they don't have to give up on their dreams. So uh, whether it be television, I'm working on a book, whether it be music, I just want people to know that if I didn't give up, you don't have to give up either. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Very, very positive. I like that. Are you on the whole social media front? Yes, yes, yes. At J Squidward. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, yeah. whoa. Yeah. Let's spell this out for us. Squidward. What, what is this squiggly uh, stuff? SpongeBob's friend. I wear skinny pants, like right. Squidward. Okay. It's J S Q U I D W A R D. All right. For musings, ramblings, and such. All right, cool. What do you tweet about? I tweet about uh, inspirational things, articles that move me, people's stories, and uh, really cool pictures. So here's an interesting thing. We gotta move in. We gotta move in. All right, here we go. So here's an interesting thing. Everybody's talking about the rumors for American Idol, Kanye West, Nicki Minaj. Who do you think is gonna kind of finish up the uh, the judges panel? Well, I think that Kanye would bring that Simon-esque quality that they kind of need in the show. But I think Nicki Minaj would be a lot of fun to watch. I would much rather see Nicki from week to week. And so. what about Mariah? How do you feel about Mariah? Mariah, I'm a big fan of Mariah's. The end. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to watch. Yeah. Being politically correct over here, Jamar. <laughs> it will be interesting to watch just to see how everything unfolds. Are you like a big um, a big fan of all the shows for, uh, for, for, for the music? Absolutely. And uh, I'm looking forward to going to the live shows for The Voice Season 3. Yeah. Going to also do some uh, recap stuff for them. So staying busy. Dude, amazing, man. I love this guy. Amazing Thank energy. Man. Make sure you follow this guy on Twitter. Thank you. Jamar, one, yeah. one more thing that we're asking is, come tomorrow, what would you love to cross off your bucket list? Mm, skydiving. I just did it yesterday. No way! Yeah. How was it? Dude, it was amazing. Did I went completely to exhilarate it? Uh, yeah, but it's like one of those things where I'm, I'm just itching to go back. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Dude, Camarillo. I went 10,000, but apparently if you go to Santa uh, Santa Barbara, 18,000. Uh, well, I'll start at the 10,000. Yeah. Uh, oh, baby yeah. steps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This is Jamar Rogers, and you are watching SLTV.